Okay, so we're here with my brother Ian. Hello. And uh, we've got all this equipment here, which I haven't got a clue what the hell it is, but he knows what he's doing with it. And you're scanning to make an engine plate, aren't you, on this side of the bike? Yeah, yeah. So what we're doing is doing a bit of scanning for, for getting sort of hard points of the engine mounting and the offset of the gearbox to the chassis and things like that. And what are all those white dots? So those white dots are what the um, the 3D scanner uses for positioning itself. And they're like stickers, are they? Yeah, they're little stickers. Yeah. Um, and you put those on in a haphazard way. Yeah. And the scanner will first of all pick up those and build like a constellation of those stickers so it will know where it is at all times. Yeah. And then you switch over to start scanning surfaces and it'll start picking up. And if you have a look at the screen, you can see we've got a few gaps in here, which is where... The frame is quite shiny and yeah. the scanner struggles with reflective surfaces so we're going to put some of this spray on developer which comes out in a matte finish yeah um and after a few hours it should completely vanish and as i said in a few hours if it hasn't completely vanished i'll be at home um <laughs> and it'll be more of a, a you this... problem than a me problem <laughs> and this <laughs> <laughs> and this will give a clearer image on the screen, will it? Of yes. So what this will do is after. When, when the light is flashing, yeah, uh, it'll it'll stop quite so many reflections. I'm just giving a little rub on the dots because when the developer goes onto the dots, it can lose track of them. So just give them a little white clean with my finger. Yeah. Have a look on you. And then what we'll do is we'll hit. The next button so that'll save what we've got so far yeah uh, and what you can do is this like basically there's this bit in the bottom here so you can see we've got like the wooden blocks that are yeah. underneath and things like that so, so we've already got a 3d view of the whole lot we can pull that up because you don't need any of them um, and then what that does is that little plane you can see there so anything that stays silver we keep anything yeah. got those red we get rid of yeah that's that and then what we do is we add a new scan so it'll keep what's there and then we'll add a new one that will hopefully pick up the the gaps and the holes and then using the little dots it'll so if you film the screen now yeah you should see there you go it's looking at the dots now and it's trying so you're to find... holding that scanner close to the frame of the bike okay. I'm getting this. Let me do. I need to switch it over to scan targets first because it was struggling a little bit then. Here we go. There you go. You can so, see all the little dots coming out. Yeah, they're showing up as green. There we go. So if, it, if they're green, it's happy. If they're red, I'm a bit close to them. And if they're blue, I'm a bit far away. So once that's done, uh, we go to scan surfaces how come we got that bit of a gap there in a minute there we go oh there you are we've got it now that's it yeah look the whole frame Excellent. Uh, I'm a bit close, so if I move it away, we go green. Yeah. It got it, it got lost then because you don't I, need I any more than that anyway. Too far you? away from the yeah. dots. Yeah. I'll try and get round and get a bit of the underneath side of the gearbox as well. This is brilliant, isn't it? Amazing. I think <clears> that it always reminds me of when they found the Titanic. Yeah. You just because you've got the constellation, and then you, it, it just sort of appears out of the blackness of the screen. You get all of the. Well, the beauty of, the of it is, it's not going to be someone just measuring holes up and drilling holes, is it? You know what I mean? It's going to be completely accurate. There you go. So you, you do have to clean it up a little bit afterwards. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of processing, but once I've got this, I can take it away with me and tidy it up and. Yeah, so I go to the next bit. We've had umpteen goals of making engine plates up, but some of the holes haven't been quite spot on. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
There you go, see? And you can see, so I can flip this around. There we go. I can keep just what I want. Put that down there, keep that bit. Pull it up at that end, get rid of those wooden blocks. That'll do. And that cuts off there. And if I go to the next bit, what it should try and do, it should try and put the two bits now. So you can wow, see. Wow, well, look at that. The one that's like plain silver is one. Yeah. And the one that's darker is the other. And they're the two different scans I did merged together. So you can see this was the missing. It's easy if I point my finger. See, down here, yeah. that's the whole piece of the frame Gosh, yeah. so that was missing. Yeah. And that's in there now from the second scan. So that's good. I'm happy with where they are. I can hit OK. Um, and then what that'll do is it'll go to the next bit. Next step. So all that means is the two separate what things that I had. Yeah. Once I've said I'm happy to merge these, yeah. it's now going to make them, and that's it. There is only one thing now. So this takes a little bit of time. And this then can be linked to what, a CNC? So the file that comes out of this is something that can go to a 3D printer. Right. Um, but what I can do in the next sort of steps of it, so all of the bolt holes and things, I can select the bolt holes and I can say that is a cylindrical thing yeah and then i can export that into something that you can take into cad um and get all of those positions and then you can design the engine plate around those things yeah and put it in and then that can go off and that can be cnc milled then yeah um and then yeah so what we can do is we can 3d print them for test fit then we can cnc them um and then yeah so this process can be used for so you can use it for reverse engineering they use it for so this is just like saying which way is up basically yeah yeah uh, it doesn't really matter for what we're doing so we can hit that to the next bit um and then you're on the section where you can improve it so what that oh that's a reverse side yeah so that's yeah. the inside of the gearbox <laughs> and the inside oh, of the cable <laughs> cable yeah. carburetor there yeah yeah and you can flip it around to the outside and there they are yeah, of course, because we've got the carburetor just laying on top of the engine, yeah, on top yeah. of the uh, gearbox at the moment. Yeah, that's yeah. why that's there. Yeah. yeah. And then what you can do then is you can sort of select bits. You know, I could go in and say, basically, if I, um, for example, if I, uh, I need to hold a button down. If I hold down, right, select that and that. So I can say... I don't want that tire in there because we don't need the tire. So I yeah. select those, they go yellow. If I hit delete, they vanish out the way. Yep. We yep. don't need that bit. Um, and we can do the same, keep the silencer in because obviously we don't want to make anything that will foul no, the silencer. No, no. But you know, you've got like, for example, this bit of kickstart yeah. that's floating in midair. Um, that's a rag that's sticking out of oh yeah we've got a rag the in the inlet. Uh, intake there <laughs> yeah. the inlet yeah. manifold that's so, all that is so we yeah. don't want that no we delete that out um and then that way you can get rid of the bits you don't need and make the file size a bit smaller yeah uh like that front bit front bit yeah the, the timing case. case of the engine yeah whatever that is down there so we delete those um and then don't do these anymore or oh Oh, so that look like an Easter Island. It is an Easter Island face, yeah. That shows <laughs> what the feature to remove spikes is. So if you're doing something with a smooth surface, you can select that. And what it'll do is the scanner's got any like little noise on the surface. You can hit that, and it'll it'll just smooth it off. But right. there's other software after this that's much better at this stuff. So this is just mainly to like capture what we want. Yeah. Um. So we want to save the session. And so then you've got to do the other side now, haven't you? That's right. right I'll so go you've got all the information you need there to produce that engine plate on the uh, right hand side of the bike. Yeah, that's it. Wow. And then obviously it'll be repeated for this side, and Ian's already got the dots on there. This is all new to me and very interesting. And presumably he can go away with all this and. Uh, come back when he's produced some engine plates that will fit perfectly of course yeah we do nice fancy ones on on the cnc mill lovely
Right then, so. Let's say. Fascinating stuff. Thanks, Ian. No worries.